Welcome back, everybody. I am Xiao Fei. This is Dave. Dave, what's your Chinese name? I don't have one yet. I thought that's what we're going to figure out, man. Uh... Dave does not have a Chinese name. So maybe watch the video through, try to get his uh, personality down, and then after you get to know him, maybe comment down at the bottom. Let us know what you think. Give us some ideas for a Chinese name. That is what we're going to figure out today. We just did a four-day road trip. Awesome. I gotta, I gotta stop cursing, like you're such a bad influence. This is f***ing dope. Oh, this f***ing crazy motherfucker kidnapped me. It's like Oh, f***, dude, you're crazy. I never like curse my videos and I hang out with you and now I'm just like, f*** this, f*** that. This guy curses so much, I don't know what's going on with him. Some of us have, you know, proper English and some of us have potty mouth. I'm hungry, uh, for I think the problem was I was raised in a barn. With like the chickens and the lambs and the, the deer. So you were raised by cows. Yeah, it was like me, chickens, goats, cows. You're like pretty much Snow White. No, but, but that, that, that trip was awesome. How was that uh, trip for you? Oh my God, dude. Even thinking about the, the trip, it feels like it was a dream. It's... Like it's doesn't feel real. I watched the video. Like my brain still is broken. My brain is like breaking. Damn it. We broke Dave. I'm gonna have to send him back for repairs now. So has your perspective on Taiwan changed? When I think about Taiwan now, it's just like... <sighs> I love Taiwan. Dude, like this is the shit. This is the yeah. place. Taiwan is the shit. Taiwan is the place to be. One of the goals of that trip was to keep him in Taiwan. He came here for work and he's on the fence about whether he should stay in Taiwan or not. Get him a Chinese name, give him like a reason to, to settle down here. I asked you, the audience, to share your name suggestions with us. After you get to know him, maybe comment down at the bottom. Let us know what you think. Give us some ideas for a Chinese name. Although I do like Yao Pigu. What if Yao Pigu was my name? Because I'm f***ing, you know, like a my food. Dude, so I was looking at the comments. So many of y'all came up with like different names and like a lot of them are pretty good, but there's so many. My brain is like breaking. So how do I pick, man? And this one's good and that one's good. And like that one has this like deep meaning and this yeah. one has like this historical yeah. like story. They're all good because my fans are the best fans in the world. I don't know, the Pink Roses fans that came to the show last week are pretty legit. We've come so far. I think they might give your fans a run, a run for your money. It's true, none of my fans came to my concert. Some of us can sing, some of us can hike waterfalls. While singing. The acoustics and games are amazing. I do sing it. <laughs> so today we are gonna go through that list. We're gonna find the best one for Dave, one that he likes. Let's first, let's uh, go over uh, a few of the things that happened on our road trip. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Dude, I haven't looked at this for a while. This is the first video. You have no idea what's going on. For sure. I'm gonna die. I love y'all. I didn't even know what river tracing was that day. That's I didn't even have friend. shoes. Yeah, I had just like one pair of sneakers because I didn't expect to stay in Taiwan this long. The shorts that I was wearing when we were going like river tracing and stuff, they have a hole in them now. Oh, because you're sliding on your butt. Yeah, yeah. If you want uh, good shorts that uh, won't get a hole in them, I got a link on my website. So this is like you seeing the river for the first time. This is f***ing dope. It's your first realization of actually where we're going. Let's go. I, I still don't know where we're going, dude. You were like telling me about all these like mystical, magical waterfall places and I still haven't seen a waterfall in Taiwan. The next thing I know, you're making me like put my shoes in the water and I have to like get wet and shit. And then you tell me I have to jump in the water with like my whole body and we're gonna be in there for like hours? So that's why I was saying you're gonna be cold. I was like, oh, I got this hair on my chest. I got f***ing hair on my chest, man. We're gonna be okay. I thought you were just like thinking I was soft or something. I was thinking you were a little soft because you hadn't done it before, but I've also been in the situation. <laughs> I was definitely a little soft. <laughs> you want to step on small rocks? Not big rocks. Yeah. They're slippery. This is when I started getting worried because the rocks were slippery and I thought I was gonna die. This is like two seconds in. But like, I can see like once you start like getting up into it and like, you know, kind of like opens up into that area, then uh, like, yeah. We're like five minutes into this hike and you're telling me about landslides all of a sudden. And if there's 10% of the water on the rocks, they all start like slipping and like attacking us. It doesn't work exactly like that. If the rocks are 
stationary. It takes a huge amount of water to get them moving. But mm -hmm. if you have sort of like the, the mountain starts to slip and the whole thing sort of slides down, it's already in that motion. The water can lubricate it, and so there's less friction and it doesn't slow down. What it's do you do if that happens? Do you like start swimming in the yeah. rocks? Grab your surfboard? I don't know, but it's, it's very uncommon. In Taiwan generally happens in the typhoon. But as long as we're not going during a typhoon, we're chilling. Unless there's an earthquake. Actually, dude, there's earthquakes all the time here. I went to the doctor the other day, every once in a while, and like I wake up and I think like the world's shaking. And I was like, Isha, I keep waking up and I think there's something wrong in my ear and it feels like the ground's shaking a little bit. And he just started laughing his ass off because he's like, it, it is, we're in Taiwan. Whoa. Damn, now you got it. That now water was so clear. Dude, when you swim through the water, it looks like way cooler than when I swim through the water. Swimming day, take the lead. No name, Dave. Hi, everybody. This is my friend. I'd like to introduce him. He was in a serious accent. His mom dropped him on his head when he was a baby. He doesn't know his name. We're going to have to pick a name for him. Do you know where you are right now? Who am I? Dude, this was scary stuff. I mean, there's like water hitting us all around. I think like when people go into this situation, the water is really, really loud. The sound wave like covers the entire spectrum. So it just like blocks everything out and you just have like that crashing mm. in your ears. Oh, there we go. That's it. This is the butt shimmy you taught me. Dude, I was really worried. I was going to eat it right there. I thought I was going to fall on my ass. When I when you told me you were like, dude, just jump. I'm like, are you kidding me? Woo! That was fun, dude. I like, that was a little bit of a challenge. I was scared, man. I thought I was going to die for a second. I did think I was going to die for a second. Dude, my feet were like sliding down. My butt was sliding down. I was trying to create like force across the two. Luckily, I had a great coach. But even thinking about it, I'm a little anxious right now. I bet if you did it again, it'd be like Oh, yeah, now, now I got it. How do you even know you're alive unless you thought you were going to die for a second? <laughs> That's so true, dude. I definitely felt more alive on that trip than I felt in a really long time. Oh, oh, I'm shaking the booty. <laughs> What are you doing? People ask what I'm passionate about. Shaking my booty. Shaking my booty. Shaking my booty. Now people ask me what my morning routine is because I wake up like 5 a.m. every morning. Yeah. And I always tell them, oh, I put on, you know, some, what's your Latin ring? So I put on this song called La Mezcla. I just hold onto my table and shake my booty. That's what, what gets me up in the morning, you know? Morning. So my abuelita, what a white pole, she doesn't call it the twerk. She calls it la batea because la batea is like the, the bath that you bathe the baby in. We've been doing this way before the twerk. Yeah. So maybe I should give like a workshop. Dude, you should. At some point. You should be like... The Yelp Hugo workshop. So uh, if you're watching this video and you see uh, Dave uh, on the street or something, just like start shaking your ass. I guarantee he'll stop whatever it is he's doing and start, should shake his ass with you. So now actually we are doing what you thought we'd do. We finally get... Yeah, we're camping. We finally get to the campsite. There we go. So camp, make fire, your first time camping. Oh, <laughs> this is when you thought the alcohol was going to work for a start. It didn't work. The fire. It didn't work at all. You're like... You're like in front of the camera, like, yo, this is how you start a fire. And then we go to start the fire. <laughs> no but, chance. But, but actually, the way we it edited it, I edited it, so it made it look like it worked. But now you guys know the truth. But I think it was because the ground was wet and I left on the ground too long and it soaked up the water from the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, I loved when, when people would come up to us and be like, oh, hey, Niha Shafe. These people love you. And a lot of them, a lot of them that we met on our hikes, they like use your map. But you, you love them just as much, man. The outdoor people are friendly. Every single time if I meet somebody like in the river or like on a beach or a mountain or something, like they're gonna be a cool person. People ask me about the food that you make. They're like, that food that Xiao Fei cooks looks really good. It's actually good. If y'all see that food that Xiao Fei makes, it's actually so f***ing good. If Xiao Fei opened a restaurant, it would be one of the most popular restaurants in the middle of nowhere in Taiwan. Now we just gotta wait. In about an hour, we'll have some delicious chicken. Let's go. Oh, this is when you woke up and just drumped straight into the water. Now you wake up, shall face style. You <laughs> woke up, jump in the river, like have like a nice breakfast, and so like, a, a stranger just walks up and hands you a beer. That was pretty nice. And those, we had good neighbors. Yeah, yeah, we had great neighbors. You put away your tent, it only takes you two seconds. It took me way longer than two. You just watched me like suffer to try to close that tent, dude. I was like getting some sort of sadistic joy from it. Like, uh, I'm noticing a pattern panic. here. I thought you had my back the whole time. Like when I was- I was managing. When I was in the moment, I thought, oh, shalfei has got my back. Like this guy's really like, at first I wasn't sure. And then I started building trust because there was no one else to trust. We were out in nature and I was gonna die if I didn't trust you. Now we're looking back. And like, you're telling me all this shit. And I realized like the whole time you were, this is like a sick game for you. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Taiwan. And now we're the second waterfall. And this waterfall was very different. Oh, this waterfall. I just remember being there. You like sat, like once we got to like the top of the waterfall there, you like 
sat down on that beach and you just kind of like, yeah. I was in heaven. Yeah. Wait, so there's really like 500,000 of these guys? Yeah, that's not an exaggeration. Yeah. I thought when you had first told me we were going to a waterfall, I thought maybe there's like 10 waterfalls around Taiwan. So what are you doing in Taipei right now, man? There's no waterfalls in Taipei. Not really Taipei City, but Xinbei Shi. Okay. Linkiao okay. Waterfall is like, it's just super close to here. Uh, it's got like a 30 foot jump you can jump on. So, so you're, what you're telling me pretty much is that Taiwan is Tiantang. I like playing in the water, you like going out in nature, definitely. By this episode, yo, by this, by this period. Yeah, you're feeling good. I can I'm see feeling you. good, dude. I'm just like, I'm just like, oh, I love this Xiaofei yeah. guy. He takes me on an adventure. Yeah, you're like the southern like, accent come out. We're about to reinflate some tires to go back on the main road. Thank them we're cruising up the mountain to find my John Wayne the Mingzi. <laughs> what are you doing right there, Xiaofei? It's like, oh, it's like, oh. <laughs> I think so, those cliffs. Oh my God, dude. This is like kind of a unique place in the world. They're so Just high. Neck hurts because you're spending the whole time going like Well, that's, this. that's, where else do you see that contrast, right? There's this place in the US that's beautiful called Yosemite. Absolutely but, beautiful. But it's funny that you're bringing this up because a lot of, because you're talking about how beautiful this place is and a lot of comments were like, yo, has Dave ever been to Yosemite? Would you Taroko be Yosemite? Wow. Pyalyang. Yosemite is actually a little bit taller right. than Taroko Gorge. But by the time you're up there, you're already at like 1800. Okay. Uh, meters, I think. Yeah. And so the contrast, which is what you actually experience as a human being, right, right. is a lot less actually in Yosemite. Whereas in Taroko Gorge, you're like at sea level in the beginning. Yeah, and it's yeah, just yeah. like, I've been to the Grand Canyon, I've been to Yosemite, and I think Taroko might be the most beautiful place wow. I've ever seen. So for everybody who was commenting, wondering what uh, Dave's travel experience is when he's talking about Taroko so beautiful, he's been around. Also, Taroko has so much texture to it. There's like areas with like, trees on the mountain and areas that are just stone and like, but, ah. I don't think Taroko is the most beautiful place in Taiwan. The reason we go to Taroko and why Taroko is so famous is that there's the road to it. So far, this Taroko Gorge place has been insanely beautiful. Feels like you can, you're just like driving through the Grand Canyon or something. Can we go swimming right there, man? See, now, now, you, now he's got like the bug that I get. He's just looking at me. Like, oh, can we go in there? I want to go there. Oh, that's it right there. Boom. Oh, dude, even seeing this. So nice up here. Oh. Wow. And then we get to the stars. We're in Fushosan. The Milky Way is so, so nice. It's pretty cold up here. You saw the Milky Way. Oh, dude, that was, I forgot about that. Dude, that still doesn't feel real, man. Like, how did we see so many stars? I, think, I didn't even know there were that many stars in the sky. I think one of the funniest things that you said to me is after we took the photo of the Milky Way, uh -huh. you're like, Oh, those photos are real? Like when people like take photos of like the Milky Way, that's like a real thing? Dude, I thought they just photoshopped all I thought that. they just photoshopped that shit, but I took the photo, so I know it was real. Yeah. Just remembering my first days uh, in Taiwan. Oh man, we're on the last, the last chapter right here. It just kept getting better. This is the only time in the trip where I was like worried you wouldn't have a good time. It started raining here. It was like raining and it was cloudy. And we're like going to the top of the mountain and I thought it was just gonna be white. I was worried you wouldn't be able to see anything. I could be anywhere with you, Xiaofei, and I'll have a good time. At first I thought I was just going with this crazy guy who invited me to go do some shit. I didn't know what we were gonna do and I thought maybe I was gonna die. Mama Mama de Yeah, it doesn't sound great in Chinese. Okay, I hope my my Zhongwen Lao is not watching. Woman sure uh each in the Shenghuo the Shengdi. We end up having a great time. Dude, it just cleared out perfectly. It always kinda works out actually when I go on trip. I think it's because you have a good Zhongwen and Mingzi. I mean we saw everything, right? We saw everything in Taiwan. We've seen two percent. Oh we've seen two percent. That was funny. At the end there, you're talking about your experience. I thought we saw this, but you know, Shafei only says two percent. So I don't know what I'm missing. That's like a really key point. You don't know what's out there. I had no clue. I was here for like six months before I went on this trip with you. I could have spent my whole time here in Taiwan and then and then left and never have seen Taiwan. But, and I still have, have not seen but, Taiwan. I've only seen 2%. <laughs> yeah, I might have been generous with the 2%. What else should I see here in Taiwan that I don't know what I don't know? So like you, what else? You got to do a high mountain trip. You gotta get onto the, mm. the ridge in the central mountain range. I thought I would just be able to, you know, crush this, this hiking and stuff. You know, I'm so ripped and everything. I mean, I had, I thought I was hot in the beginning. I was like, oh, I'm gonna hike up. There's no problem with the backpack. And the next thing I know, I'm like. <gasps> it's elevation. There's something like 30% less oxygen in it. I turned on the diesel engine. 
It was so beautiful up here. Uh, almost makes me. There were so. There was different moments in the trip where I almost just like lost my shit and cried. Just the way the clouds were in the distance. They were at like eye level with us, and there were just so much definition and richness. That was the top of one of like the smaller mountains. But was that one of the hundred? So technically, no, because we went to the south peak, not the main peak. Woo! So I don't get to count that as one of the hundred. I'm gonna give it to you. And if people did see the video, like, that's the South Peak. It was over 3,000 meters. The reason I'm gonna give it to you is because actually the 100 mountains are it's an arbitrary selection. If we're talking about just the highest mountains, you know, there's 268 over 3,000 meters. Any criteria that we choose for like these mm -hmm. hundreds is, you know, in terms of nature, it's rather arbitrary. So on the video, can I get like a one out of 100? Yeah, I'm giving you one out of 100. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, Taiwan. Why are we living in Taipei? What are we doing in, in Taipei is dope too, but like, what are we doing here? Like, the mountains are calling me, man. It's so easy when you get back to the city to forget what you're missing. Like, it almost feels like a dream, but when I watch the video, I know it's real. Dude, when are we going on our next, like, what's, what's going on? So where do you guys think I should take Dave next? I'm guessing in hot springs. I love being in the hot springs when it's cold. It is cold. You do this shit all the time though. This is like, this is your life. It took me 10 days to get to Taipei. I'm I just imagine you like jumping over the peaks. We've been talking all this time to get distracted. Let's go to the comments now and let's pick a name for Dave. We're gonna come up I with- We still haven't four. picked a name. That was the whole point of the trip, dude. Oh what the, what are we doing? We're spending all this time talking, watching the videos. We need to find my name. So um, before we get started, uh, why not just Yao Pigo? You know, I told my mom that my Chinese name would be Yao Pigu. And she had some concerns. Really? Yau you Pigu. guys, if you see Dave on the street, regardless of what his real name is, you should call him Mr. Yao Pigu. And if you ever go to Dave's concert, I, I want to hear people yell out like, yeah, Mr. Yao Pigu. It'll be perfect, especially if his mom comes to visit. All right, let's go with the names. The first we have is Josh XX. He has said Lin Shenlon, so the forest dragon. So I could be like the forest dragon, I could be like the sky dragon. Can I be a fire dragon? Actually, you know, we see a lot of people who are commenting, you know, with the, with the different mm -hmm. sort of elements of dragon. So Chen Yongcheng, thank you for your comment. We have Gao Yue Long. So it's like the high mountain dragon. High mountain dragon. Yeah, oh, and man. it's kind of cool because you were on like the Bai Yue. Yeah. Uh, she wrote Zhang Peng Long. What uh, if I want to be like an under the water dragon? Like a submarine dragon. Like shui, di shui xia long. Shui xia long. Shui xia long. Shui xia long. So uh, here we go. Twenty five likes. Ooh, twenty five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. JJ, JJ knows what's J up. Hi, right, JJ Shen. Thank you for your comments. Dai Yun Long. So it's like cloud. Yeah, it's like the cloud dragon. Dai Yun Long. Explains uh, it here. Well, he's like so, swamming Shi. Sure, he yeah, has like a whole story. Yeah, so he's like Zhang Yin equals Dai. Jia Wei Hugo, I, I like this comment. Fun Hong Long. Oh, pink dragon. This is like yeah. pink roses. Yeah, Fun Hong Long. Yeah. Fun Hong Long. Ah, uh, pink dragon. I love pink. I love pink. You are you are a pink dragon, but that's more of a who you are than what you're called. You know, a lot of people really like to use um, the Dai for your mm. family name. I'm seeing this in, in lots and lots of comments. Yeah. Dai Xiong Shan. Dai Xiong Shan. Like Gao Xiong de Xiong. It's a Liduna Lu. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right, but none of these, it doesn't seem like these are like jumping out at you. you. Know, I don't know about Long, you know? Yeah? Oh, they have second thoughts on Long. When we were up on the mountain, okay. I felt like a dragon. <laughs> but now that we're back in the city, I might scare people if I'm a dragon. <laughs> Oh my God, so many. Yeah, they're so. Wow. Well, some of them have like the. Um, Long is your last name, not as your actual name. Long Fei Tian, like no, flying no. sky, oh. flying in the sky. Xie Pei Jin. Yeah, Xie Pei Jin, thank you for your comment. Yeah. Wow, this so one's popular. Uh, Dave, yeah. Kalu Isha Dai Zheng Long, Zheng Neng Liang De Long, Bang Ni Suan Le Bi Hua, Shi Bu Cuo De Ming Zi Ne. This is actually funny because this person uh, is saying that before you commented the long thing. This person, she put a lot of uh, work into your name. And wow. uh, so obviously it's, it's, it's Dai for Dave and then mm -hmm. Zheng Long. For the, uh, Long. Is it the positive energy dragon? Wow, so I just I just fly around, instead of shooting fire at my fans, you shoot, I shoot positive energy. You shoot rainbows and lollipops. <laughs> yeah, you're like the loving happy dragon. It kind of works. It's like the Power Rangers when they put their powers yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. And they like take out the enemy, but I take out all the like sadness and hatred, negative emotion we just 
We just blast that with positive energy. I got uh, uh, Yao Fei Long. I got a lot of likes. People seem to like it. Mm -hmm. uh, Unlong. A lot of people like Unlong. The, cloud, dr the cloud dragon. Oh, we're still on dragons. Unlong. That's interesting. Xiao Long Bao. That's the best one. What Xiao Xiao Long Bao? What do you all think? Yeah, yeah I, think I can't gotta, be perfect. I think it's we gotta perfect. keep going. I think we gotta all keep right, going. All right, all right, all right. Yao Da Fu. So this is like Yao for like Yao Pigu the Dave. And then Da Fu is like, you know, good fortune. It also kind of sounds like Dave a bit. And uh, also, you know, the mochi with red beans. Oh, and the, I love the yeah. mochi with the, I just want to eat a little mochi with the red beans. Oh, and I know you'd be like, hey, I'm Da Fu. And like, ooh, you sound delicious. Oh, I sound delicious. Oh boy. Maybe that's why my Pigu is so big. It's because I got the mochi. Went to the hot spring and people were calling me Yao Pigu, but that's not my, that's kind of gonna be my name after today. We all have multiple names. You have to give your name, you know, you, when you go to the bank, like, you know, you give your ID or whatever, mm -hmm. you go through customs and immigration, you're this guy. But on but this ID, around. what am I putting on this ID? Yao Piku. C Joy, thank you for your comment. Y'all be cool. Y'all be cool. Y'all be cool. Yeah. Scooby Dooby Doo. The Y'all be cool be cool. <laughs> Xiaosa, natural and unrestrained, light-hearted, be lifted above the sordid bustle of life. Oh. Wow, that's beautiful, Shh. Melissa. Thanks Melissa, for coming. Melissa, this is like a poem. Oh yeah. my gosh. How about Dafe? No, that'd be too weird. I don't want to hang out with you if your name is Dafe. Wish I'm a... Because I'm oh, just been weird. Oh, Xiaofei! <laughs> Dafe! Hey, I'm Xiaofei, this is Dafe. Ah, it's like we're starting nice. a boy band. I commented to ask if you're going to sing a song with us at our next show. Oh, really? You are going to be a boy. I didn't see that comment. Dude, there were like 50 plus likes on that comment. Oh, honey. really? Well, now I have to do I it. Think... I, think, I think it's like above 45, and then you, you have to do it. Yeah. Right? Shelfie has got to sing a song. It's like, like the rules of YouTube, yeah. All right, I'll be there. January. January. Y'all better come. What's this? Uh, By the way, I'm trying to bring my bandmate over here. So if y'all have any ideas of how to convince him to come to Taiwan, I want to play a show with him in person here in January. Help me out. His name's Nate. I'm like the the, the bandmate that's like, he like pushes the band forward and makes sure we stay on track and like gets it done. Oh, but come here to film the video. Balance. You have to film the music video. Taiwan is like an excellent place to film like movies and saying. videos. There's like a really good film industry here. Like really skilled people. So here's one. Here's one. This one says shakes ass for xie ai su. What, is, what does that mean? Oh, ass. Oh, I ah, shake So uh, we've gone through a lot of these. None of these have really seemed to uh, click with you. So why don't we yeah. why don't we check some of the some of the more exotic uh, names? <laughs> Hopefully we can find one um, mm -hmm. that you like. There's, there's like so many, and there's so many that are good, and it's like hard to choose. Mm. Like it's like I feel like when I go into a restaurant and they have like a hundred things on the menu. So we have another one here. This one's by uh, yeah. Alexandra. This one says. Uh, Fang Hao Yu. It has like sort of the same like flying element as a dragon, but without using that character. And um, also like the brightness and the happiness. Brightness? Yeah. Let me look up which which how is this? Bright, luminous. Ooh, you are kind of luminous. Ooh. Let's see, let's see. How? How? Okay. Yu. It's like two two feathers. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh, oh, wing. like wings. Wings. They're kind of like dragon because I got like wings. Yeah, so you're like flying, but you're not. So I'm like a luminous, like bright, shining dragon. So it's, it's like the one from Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, and Fang, like oh, my last name's Fontano in English. Yeah, so it's like Fang, and then it kind of like keeps your family. I do the same thing. So I'm like Li, I'm Li Xiaofei, because my last name is Lise. I'm also basically choosing the name for my whole family. So let's say my brother or something came, like he'd have to be a Li. So I think actually Fang so is Fang a pretty is good fit. pretty fan. good. Yeah. You want like the essence of a dragon, but you don't actually. I don't want long. You don't want to be like shouting like, "Hey, I'm a dragon." You yeah, just, I want it to be more subtle. You just want to be like flying around and they'll be like, "Hey, yeah. dude, that guy's a dragon." Thanks a lot, Alexandra. That's a that's a great one. Uh, we're gonna keep that as a contender, and we can see see a few mm -hmm. more. Yeah. All right. Oh, I like this one, Eric Dan. Huo Long Guo. Huo Long Guo. What's that mean? The dragon fruit. Dragon. <laughs> but it's I like love dragon. Fruit. But dragon fruit is like fire dragon fruit. Mm, yeah. Like straight quote unquote. Cool. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But then it's like fire and dragon. Mm. That's an awesome name. All right, so we have another one uh, from Kelly. Thank you, Kelly, for your comment. So, Zhang Yu Song. Oh, like like song. Like I'm a singer. Yeah. That's why. Ah, I like that ah. song. And actually, that's in English. Like that's one of like the Chinese names I like the most. Is like song. Yeah. Like I have a friend named Song Zhang. It sounds Zhang. it sounds so cool in English. And yeah. then whenever people ask me the story, I get to tell them like, oh, because I sing songs. Yeah, yeah. And then what does the <laughs> yu mean? So that's like uh, yu zhou. It's like the universe or like the universal song. Oh, so I'm like singing yeah. to the universe. Yeah, man. 
I like this one. And the universe is listening. Oh, Zhang's cool because my one of my main mentors oh, yeah? was this Chinese American okay. guy. And his last name, I don't know if it's the same character, but his last name is Zhang. Zhang Yusong. Zhang Yusong. All right, so, Zhang Yusong. so is that one a contender, you think? That's definitely a contender. Okay. I like that one. We've narrowed it down to three. We have Zhang Yusong. Feng. How you? And we also have Dai Zheng Long. So Dave, uh -huh. moment that you've all been waiting for, and I've spent most of my day trying to figure out. Oh, actually, an entire road trip trying to figure out. I have been spending my whole life trying to figure out. It's the thing you needed. You didn't even know you needed. I think I need to meditate for a minute. All right, close your eyes, let it sink in, and you like take your time. Oh, I might even need to yell my pinko a little bit. <laughs> Shake it out, let it loose, and let us know when you're ready. Oh. Oh, you just have like a eureka moment. I think I know my name. I, I won't look. Oh man, I need to write this down well. Okay, you ready? This is it, you sure? This is the I one you want? I think this is it, The one you want? I think this is it, I think this is, right. this is just my name. Three, two, one. Yao Pico! <laughs> Three on this time. Three on this time. <laughs> Shake my mood! Okay, okay, no, no, yeah. I got it though. It just feels... Like, I'm just gonna be flying around the whole world with this name. This is it. Jika Mingzi show what a Mingzi. You'll no longer be known as Dave. You'll probably still be known as Yao Pigu no matter what. <laughs> but in addition to Yao Pigu, you will also be known as three, two, two one, Fan Hao Yi. No, now, now you're now you're drama, Dave. Watch out, Dave. Watch out. How are you? Thank you so much, everybody, for helping us crowdsource this name. This was from you in the comments. Thanks for all the love. Emotional moment for him. Watch out, how are you? And they're like a, a resident. He had a name. Congratulations. Bring, bring it in. Dude, I gotta, I gotta give you a hug. Ah, this is I love you, man. All right, that concludes the Dave series. I hope you liked our road trip. There's a link to all the videos below. Check them out. There's also a link to Dave's band, Pink Roses. Check them out on Instagram me quick. and YouTube. Subscribe. Also, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to support more content like this, you can also click the join button or subscribe on Patreon or also check out my cool clothes. Links for all that in the description. Thank you so much, everybody. We're gonna go get a drink. Celebrate, shake your ass. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody.